Hey guys, this is me, Fidel, which is my first experience. your key to pass with. Thank you guys for this cool awesome video. This video is part of the community and tech empowerment series. Uh, basically, if you guys are new to this series, uh, you will also see previously that this series was previously named. Uh, we have changed the name, um, you know, because of accommodations with Vision Last resources, and I'm totally fine with that. But this particular series is about um, giving my thoughts about the community tech side and uh, doing uh, doing work with Vision Last resources, uh, as well as giving you guys a little bit of info. So this week's um, topic for this this um, classes that we had was all about smartphones and looking at like or smart devices and iPhones and things like that. Well, iPhones and uh, we looked at and iPhone, Android, and Jitterbug. Um, and basically we we're looking at you know, different features, you know, different ways of enlarging text and things. Um, you know, any types of tech issues that people might happen to have and things like that. Uh, what is the best, you know, best phone to have, things like that. Um, and I think that's really important that I want to touch on in this video is like, ultimately, what is the best device for you? Um, and it really comes down to a few different things. It comes down to like, you know, for instance, the major thing is usability. How do you want your, uh, apps, uh, or your menus or things like that how do you want to access this content do you want it to be accessed in a certain way like you know it's on a springboard of a of a iphone or do you want it more so on a uh, springboard but also and I, I say springboard is in desktop by the way before i continue here so you do want it on like a desktop like the layout of, like the iphone do you want it on just uh kind of like desktop or springboard of a android device um and or the menus are different, you know, like finding the settings in Android is different, finding the settings in iPhone is slightly different. I mean, there's a lot of common sense things there, you know, like settings, you know, like brightness, all that good fun stuff. But I mean, besides that, like placement of this particular stuff is slightly different. Um, the other things to consider are, you know, like what apps you can use, you know, what you're using your phone for, are you using it for a camera, are you using it for audio, are you using it for whatever purposes. Um, Personally, in, in, in my facts of blindness and visual impairment, I have loved using um, iPhone. And the reason being is because of it having a built-in screen reader uh, called VoiceOver, magnification, inversion in colors, things like that. But also I've gotten used to it. I know how it works. I know the menus. I know uh, how to edit things and change things, all that good fun stuff. Not that you can't on an Android phone because there, there are limitations to the iPhone that you can only do so much on an iPhone versus Android. You have a lot of bit, a lot more editable, editable content and abilities. Um, so, like, in my particular end, for, like, phone-wise, I like to have everything organized and straightforward and things like that. But, you know, I like to edit things. But I think um, it's not that I'm looking for a simple approach to it. But, you know, I just I have my particular approach to it. I loved iPhone, um, you know, for many years. I have an iPhone 6S. And it it has done incredible things. Um, you know, so that that's just my personal opinion as to, you know, what I use. Um you know, but uh, Android has TalkBack. Um, Ujitterbug, I believe, has uh, what's called Talk. It's either TalkBack or something else. I think it's TalkBack, though. I'm pretty certain of it. Um, so there, you know, there's screen readers for those. And, um, you know, other things we're looking at, you know, is like how to, um, uh, like major things, like, you know, some issues people had, you know, like, uh, not being able to receive calls during a certain time or notifications, um, you know, looking at how to access things, how to change settings, all the good fun stuff. So it was a really productive class, uh, and I I loved doing it. I still continue to love doing uh, community side tech classes, uh, helping people out, empowering people, and that's why I'm making these videos is to kind of give you guys a little bit of a of a you know what I'm thinking as well as a little bit of a snippet of the class. Uh, because if you are a part of it, you know, then you know what happened. If you don't and you're curious on joining, um, what you want to do is if you're in the state of Minnesota, uh, call up Vision Loss Resources and talk to them about signing up for the community tech side classes. Believe me, we have some awesome topics uh, coming up. But otherwise, thank you guys so very, very much for viewing this video. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Remember, the perseverance is your key to possible. And I'll see you guys later.